Do you know Nancy bad. Pelosi? Have you ever met her? I met her once in the Capitol building. Yes. Yeah, did she you wouldn't guys... remember me, but uh, she wouldn't. I think no. she'd remember you, Governor. For the last time, Bill and the rest of Fox News, she's not a governor anymore. She quit that job. Remember, she quit that job so she could release a book and get paid, and and so she could be on Fox News. She's gone from being the governor of Alaska to being the governor of nothing, which is only a small change, really. Uh, but did you chat with her? Did you have any idea? Chatted with her a little bit. Yes, she was leading a group of um, school children through on a tour, and I thought, well, that's nice that she has that time on her hands that she could do that. <laughs> yeah, but the school children need to be led. Yeah, know. that's what I'm saying. It was yeah. nice. Let's not forget that this is coming from the same woman that took the time during the vice presidential debate to give a shout out to a bunch of third graders. So, talking about how much extra time and how nice it is, you, you shut the fuck up, bitch. Do you think that she's a kook? Uh, I think that she too is quite disconnected from what her constituents too are telling her, and constituents. But she's all over a San Francisco country. liberal. But but do you think she's actually crazy? I, I doubt that her San Francisco constituents even are enamored with her policies and with the the guidance that um, she is providing this country. Is she, holy fuck! My irony meter just broke. Is okay. she further to the left, in your opinion, than Barack Obama? Perhaps so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now Harry Reid gets in trouble with the uh, the Negro dialect remark and the mm -hmm. light skin color. Uh, I want. What would you say? I'm Harry Reid, yeah. okay? And say no. I'm not going to say that. No. Say I'm. What would you say to me? Uh, well, obviously those were. You can't defend those comments. But I, he's I, sorry. He's sorry. Is that enough? Well, he, he says he's sorry. That that way of thinking is quite foreign to I think most Americans today. I, I come from. Do you a, think it was a, a racist? Statement? I come from a very diverse state. My family is diverse. I'm married to an Alaska. Alaska is a very diverse state. I'm. <sighs> I'm going to have to see some evidence of that because uh, somehow I just don't agree with that. To me, Alaska is white. Everything about it is white. Even the snow is white. Obviously, that's a joke, so calm the fuck down. A lot of us don't think along those lines that um, somebody's skin tone would be criteria for a, a qualification for the presidency. So his, his thinking and his articulating of that, that thought... Talk about articulating. Thinking that thought... What the fuck? Was, is, is quite perplexing, is quite unfortunate. And Do you think it was racist? I don't believe that he's a racist, but I don't believe that Trent Lott was a racist either. And that no, double we did that standard, last night. Right. I know, and <laughs> that double standard is, and that hypocrisy is another reason why so many Americans are quite disgusted with the political games that are played really on both sides of the aisle, but in this case, on the left wing, what they are playing with this game of racism and kind of letting Harry Reid's comments slide, but having crucified Trent Lott for essentially along the same lines. Last same time you were here, uh, I asked you about Iran, and that's coming down the pike now real yeah. fast. Yeah. I mean, this is this underreported story. We're keeping a very close eye on it. But in the next few weeks, Barack Obama's going to have to do something with Iran. Yeah, he what is. would you do? Well, it, the, the time for talking about sanctions, I think we've passed that. Even the last couple of weeks, we have passed that. And we need to follow through on those uh, financial terms that are favoring some um, Iranian businesses and Iranian But you figure that they're doing that, right? Uh, no, I don't think that they're doing it or we perhaps would Would you attack them? Some, would you let Israel attack them? I, I think that we can still head in that direction of the financial sanctions and the sanctions on petroleum right, so you haven't changed your opinion. projects. No, I haven't changed my opinion except to say we've talked about it enough. You and I talked about yeah, it. Yeah, we talked about it last time we were here. Was weeks ago and there has been no change except for change for the worse so no now the time for talking th that's enough we want to make sure that we and our allies are following through now on if they don't do it if they don't do it though should we attack if, if the Iranians don't stop their nuclear program should we attack I think that obviously we need to uh, adhere to those sanctions those threats don't you get it O'Reilly she, she only has like a certain few key words to answer certain questions with. Uh, her key words are sanctions when it comes to Iran. She's like, when it, when, whenever someone here says the word Iran, whenever I hear the word Iran, I'm going to say the word sanctions over and over and over again and because that's the only key word that I know. Now, when you know, asked further about it, would you att I just repeat the same shit over and over again? She's, she's a motherfucking parrot. Someone left a comment on the first part of this, and I think it applies very, very well. Palin is, says things. She, she talks the same way that a child tells a joke. 
they don't really understand the beginning, the middle, the end, you know, the punchline, any of that. They just kind of keep telling the joke, whether it's gone awry or not, hoping to get that laughing reaction. And Palin is the same way. She just keeps kind of talking and, and hoping that someone out there will nod and go, I agree with you, and she'll just keep spouting the same shit until someone does. But most of us are smart enough to know that 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 bullshit, that it's not what we are looking for in any kind of fucking politician, and that's why Sarah Palin gets called out constantly. All right, so you're not ready to first. say we got to get them if they don't. I, an attack, a military attack, needs big. to be our very, very last um, Right, but option. it's coming down. It's, okay. it's getting close. Yeah. The Israelis well, are getting very, very close. Well, All right. what I would like to see the Obama administration do, though, is convince Americans that they would be willing to do anything, anything that needs to be done to protect America and her so allies, to, start to protect preparing Israel. Them. Absolutely. Okay. Protect, and we want to know that. Well, here's the thing. Obama is in the middle of it, obviously. He's the fucking president. And he's done everything that Bush was doing before. He's continued these fucking wars. He's, he's claimed he's going to close down Guantanamo. It hasn't happened. He claims he's going to pull out of Iraq. It hasn't really happened. All these things. So basically, you're getting your way already. We're still droning, fucking bombing people in Pakistan. We're still doing all of this stuff that you think is important. The only thing that Obama won't do is play that fear card and be like, terror, terror, terrorism, terrorist, and use all these words. Islam, Muslim terrorist, that, that's all you want to hear. There's no real argument from you here. You, you just want to have more of your fear-mongering shit instilled into people that are not willing to do it. We're going to have more with uh, the governor in a moment. We're going to hold her over because I do have some other foolish questions to ask her, and we appreciate your patience very much. You don't have to appreciate her patience anymore, Bill, because you pay her now. She, she's your bitch. She, she's your fucking, you know, on-call pundit 24-7. That's the whole reason she stopped being a politician. Because obviously she's so much more important as a pundit on Fox News than she could have ever been as a governor, right? She can do a lot more change there. <laughs> Continuing now with our newest contributor on Fox News, Governor Sarah Palin. Now, why do you think 60 Minutes? You know, 60 Minutes spent eight minutes on you last Sunday night. Well, Bill, you do realize that you're spending like over 20 minutes on her, <laughs> and your show is 60 minutes long as well, so uh, hypocrisy much? You know, they have this new book out that they were interviewing the authors and stuff like that, and there's a lot of, you know, stuff in the book about McCain, about uh, Biden, uh, Edwards, but it was eight minutes about you. Well, that's because the book made Sarah Palin look like a total fucking idiot. It told all the truths, the behind-the-scenes kind of shit that everyone kind of knew about her already and kind of proved those facts. So obviously that's what they're going to fucking touch on. Anything about Obama? A little bit, but not a lot. Not a lot. You know, you see that her, her question was, well, they didn't talk about Obama. They didn't talk about the president. They took their time to talk about me and not the president. You can tell that. Look at her face. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's the face of like, I'm more important than the fucking president. That's what's going through this bitch's head right now. She's she's so retarded. She doesn't understand that the reason she's in the news is because she's such a retard. It, it's the same. It's the Venom Fang X syndrome. It's people want to see the train wreck. They find it hilarious, and so they fucking pay attention to you. I guarantee you that there are just as many people that watch you to laugh at you as there are people that nod their head when you talk. But Obama's been on that show. He's on, like, he's one of the co-contributors. I'm Steve Cross. I'm Barack Obama. There he's on, go. like, every yeah. week. <laughs> that was pretty funny, except for the irony meter is fucking breaking yet again, because it's fucking Sarah Palin who's going to be on your show every fucking week. <laughs> it, it's going to be like, hi, oh, I'm Bill O'Reilly, and this is fucking Sarah Palin again. I mean, so so really, you're making a joke about them, but it really applies to you, you fucking idiot. Okay, I want to run you two clips from that show and have you react. The first one is uh, from one of the authors of the book Game Change, John Heilman. Roll the tape. She still didn't really understand why there was a North Korea and a South Korea. She was still regularly saying that Saddam Hussein had been behind 9-11. And literally the next day, her son was about to ship off to Iraq. And when they asked her who her son was going to fight, she couldn't explain that. It's pretty nasty, isn't it? Well, it's pretty made up, too. I, I think that these reporters who were not 
in any part uh, of uh, what I was doing there as a VP candidate. I think that uh, um, I, I explained a lot of this in Going Rogue in my book. You, I you, was there, lying, they were not there. You, yeah, well, we've been there for every retarded interview that you've given and every retarded speech that you've fucking given. We, we've seen what you were made of already, and so we don't need anyone else's word, really, but it just kind of backs up what we knew already. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like... Uh, if a, if a Christian flips his car over and he doesn't die, he thinks it's a miracle. Well, it backs up what he believed already. Well, it's the same thing for us liberals, I guess. Is this guy lying? He says you don't know the difference between North and South Korea. Yeah, that surprised me. I hadn't seen the 60 Minutes thing. I, I had been warned, you know, don't don't watch. It is a bunch of BS from Schmidt. Is that a lie, some though? Of guys. Yeah, that is a lie. Oh, how much of a softball question can you fucking loft up to her? Uh, is that a lie? Well, why don't you just fucking ask her why is there a North and South Korea? What She even had time to prepare for this for fuck's sake. Just answer it. I mean, that would prove it to be a lie. You won't have to answer whether it's a lie or not if you just say that here's the difference. And so obviously that's a lie. Part three right here. Cocktopus out.